PID controlled temperature system simulator. This is our kit for temperature controlling the temperature through PID. In this kit, we have two modules. One is our main unit, and other is our oven unit. First, I'll explain you about our oven unit. In this unit, we are having our temperature sensor, our heating element, and a fan for varying the temperature. The unit, this unit is connected to the main unit through this connector. Now, coming to our main unit. In the main unit, we have a power on switch, a fan on switch, heater switch, PID control switch, a selection for oven and set point, a port to vary our set point, our temperature display for set point and oven both, and an ampere meter. First, I'll explain to you about our temperature system. This display for temperature, right now it is showing the temperature in the oven, that is in this module. And if you want to select the set point, SP, that is the set point that what the, our desired temperature, then we have to turn it to SP and then our set point can be controlled through this port. The temperature here represented is in degree Celsius. Likewise, if I set the temperature to 23.6 degrees Celsius and my initial temperature is 5.1 or 5.2 degrees Celsius. First, I'll have to turn on the PID system, that is this system. This is for P, this is for I and this is for D. These are the basic parameters for this. Right now, I am setting the PID configuration to 5, 5 and 5. This is basically the ideal configuration for a transient response for this simulation system. Now we have to do two things. First of all, we have to turn on PID. Then this is our heater and this is our fan. Make sure that the fan is in off position before starting the experiment. Now, as we turn on the heater, you see that the ampere rating here has started. Now it is showing 578 milliamperes. That is actually actually the current flow through our heating element. And you can see here we have started with 5.5 degrees Celsius. Now the temperature is increasing rapidly. And our set point, which is 23.8, you will observe that as soon as the temperature reaches around 24, 21.8, the current value will drop. That is because as soon as we reach to our set point, the current through our heating element starts to drop. Right now it is 16.5 and the current has decreased from 400, 500 to 3870 milliampere and it is increasing, decreasing rapidly. Now in order to introduce an error, we can turn on the fan in intermediate stages so that the temperature will drop and the system will have to draw more current in order to reach our set point. Like as soon as I turn on the fan, the temperature started falling and the system started drawing more current for heating it. That is the effect of PID on the system. Now, as soon as I turn off the fan, it will again start reaching our set point and the current will start to drop as soon as it reaches the our set point and then it will go to in a transient wave form and after a span of around 15 to 20 minutes, it will come around our set point. First of all, with respect to your current conditions, always make sure that the set point is different from our room temperature like right now it is winters here so tem initial temperature is quite low so the set point of around 23.5 degrees celsius is sufficient but in a place where the uh, initial room temperature is above 20 degrees celsius make sure the set point is around 30 30 to 40 degrees celsius 